New at 530, as the number of positive COVID-19 cases increase in some parts of our community, people in Florida nursing homes and assisted living facilities are once again feeling the impacts. ABC 27's investigative reporter Katie Legrone explains the triple threat they're now facing and what families need to do to keep their loved ones safe inside. Here we go again. Florida's long-term care facilities, once target to the deadliest impacts of the COVID-19 virus, are now beginning to feel the pain of its latest wave. So COVID wings are back too? They are setting those up if there is a need. From the return of COVID wings at some facilities to modified visitation at others, the industry calls it a necessary response to an unexpected COVID surge. Positive cases around the state quadrupled in just the last month. Community hospitalizations are up with the more contagious Delta variant taking over. And the White House recently reported one in every five new COVID-19 cases reported was diagnosed in Florida. It's concerning. Here we go again. You're right. We don't want to go backwards. Um, you know, our focus remains on keeping our residents safe, keeping our staff protected. But while infection controls remain in place and the uptick of cases in long-term care facilities is minimal at this point, with newly infected reporting mild or no symptoms at all, the industry fears what's next. Most residents in Florida nursing homes and assisted facilities are vaccinated, but staff is still holding out with less than half vaccinated, among the lowest rates nationwide. Couple that with a worker shortage crisis so bad some facilities have had to halt new admissions, the industry is facing a triple threat. Right now it's not an option to mandate the vaccine. We are in a significant staffing crisis right now, and I think it would be very difficult to mandate something that could prevent people from considering long-term care as a, a place to work. Is it as scary as it sounds at this point? This virus surprises us all the time. But Dr. Jay Wolfson, a health policy expert at USF, explains as long as deaths don't increase among residents of long-term care, rules are unlikely to change. Those people in the nursing facilities are going to be exposed to some positive people and they will get sick. There'll be breakthrough infections. Hopefully they'll be mild. We don't know enough yet, Katie. That's the problem. Here we go again. Facilities are still offering employees incentives to get vaccinated, including cash bonuses. Meantime, families are encouraged to be careful, continue wearing your mask, and if you're not already, just get vaccinated. Katie Legrone, ABC 27.